Hi everybody, welcome to the third video in this series on how to install Omeka Classic. Today I want to show you how to download Omeka, edit the database any file, and upload the directory into the proper spot on your server. So we'll begin by going to the Omeka.org website, and um, I'm just going to go to the Omeka Classic site. Uh, from here I want to go to the user manual but I'm going to open this in a new tab just to make things easier for me down the road. Um, so I will go to this tab and under installing we want the installation link. Um, and so we've been through preparing to install and uh, the first step of creating a MySQL database in the previous two videos. Now we're on step two where we can download the latest version of Omeka. So we'll do that by going back to the Omeka Classic homepage. And from here, uh, we can download. Um, because I'm using the command line, I'm not sure that this this button here will work. So I, I want a zip file. And as, as I can see here, uh, that's not going to give me the zip file I want. There's multiple ways of doing this. Um, but this is the way I'm most comfortable with. So I'm going to download and then from here I can get the zip file and what I'm going to do is right click and copy link address and so now I'm going into my shell and I want to download the zip file I'm in my home folder for the um, lib admin user and I'm going to use the wget command and right click so I get my zip file okay so now um, I can unzip my file if you don't have um, unzip installed on your computer uh, you'll need to run this command first sudo apt get install unzip I think I already have it, and I do. Um, so just run that command if you don't have unzip installed. Um, now I'm going to list the contents of this directory, and you see I have my zip file here. So I'm just going to unzip that uh, with unzip. Okay, so now we can look at our directory ls-l and as you can see we have Omeka 2.5.1. Now what I want to do is look in the in the directory itself to see um, to see the files that are in there. So we will change directories um, and ls-l and looks good I want to run ls-a and I see that I do have the ht access file there so this is good now what I'm going to do is move back a directory and at this point I want to move um, all of the, the contents within the um, Omeka directory into my uh, web directory. So I'm going to do that by running um, sudo mv-v um, omeka slash an asterisk to my var www slash html directory okay so it looks like we have successfully done that let's go to the directory itself and we will list everything there 
Very good. Uh, so the one thing that we don't have in there is the .ht access file. So we're going to want to move that here as well. And um, we can do that. Uh, sudo mv tilde dash omeka dash dot ht access and we're moving that to our current folder which is var www html go so now um, let's list the contents and you'll see that we have the ht access file there so I believe we have gone through um, step two We've downloaded the latest version, we've unzipped it. Um, technically, we've kind of gone through this upload the directory step as well. I think these instructions may have been um, for if you're using a FTP client or something like that. Um, in any case, we have uh, uploaded the HT access file. Uh, so from steps two to four, the only thing we haven't done is number three. So um, here we need to uh, do the proper configurations for our database any file. So we'll go back to our shell. And what we want to do is uh, sudo nano or whichever text editor you use, uh, sudo nano db uh, any. Okay, so here we need to go through and update all of this. And our host is going to be localhost unless um, your MySQL server is on a server other than this one. Our username, and this all kind of goes back to the MySQL database we set up. We want to use all of those same parameters. So uh, our username, we use the same as the Linux uh, user, lib admin. And I used password. And again, this is not good practice to use a password like password. Um, and as I recall, we called the database Omeka. And that's all we need to do here. So if we control and exit and save. And now I'm just going to uh, restart Apache just for good measure. Uh, sudo uh, service. Apache, Apache 2, uh, restart. Okay, so now we should be ready to move on to the next step, um, which we'll do in another video. This means we'll be on step four. Uh, so we will be giving permissions to the directories uh, to make sure our installation uh, happens properly. So uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.